my name is Russell Padden and I'm this year's University of Hertfordshire Formula Student Team Leader. This year we have a large team comprising of 31 students. These range from undergraduate to master's level. We've been spending nine months, a lot of late nights and a lot of long hours to design and develop the most exciting Formula Student car yet in UH Racing's history. Our aim is to be the first UK university to win the Formula Student competition outright. UH Racing have a fantastic track record. Not only have we finished third last year overall at the UK event, we also finished seventh in Germany, which is the best a UK university has achieved in 2011. This year we're aiming to go two steps higher on the podium at the UK event, and we want to aim to be the top UK team and the top team at the competition. Each and every year at the racetrack, we aim to maximise our performance in a series of statics and dynamics events. The static events encompass a business presentation, which is very much like a Dragon's Den event. UH Racing is an established company that has been developing single seat racing cars for one off and low volume production for 14 years. In terms of market positioning, we've identified a gap between karting and Formula Renault, which we believe is ideally filled by our car. UH14. Safety and reliability are also important to our customers. All components for UH14 have been computer simulated, such as the hub shown. This is then validated by physical testing of both materials and the design, and is all then backed up by extensive on-track testing to ensure part and car reliability. The next area is the cost report. This is a substantial document which comprises every nut and bolt on the vehicle. We have to cost everything from cable ties to duct tape to the paint that we finally put on the car when we roll it out for competition. Finally, we have the design judging event. This is where a lot of points can be won or lost. The students have to stand up against industry experts and validate their ideas concepts and solutions. Validation is key. This year we've used a lot of data-driven decisions to design and develop our car. We have a series of dynamic events, an acceleration run which takes place over a 0 to 75 metre run. We can achieve this in less than four seconds which when compared to any road car is quite phenomenal. The next event is a skid pad. It's carried out on a figure of eight circuit. Basically the driver has to complete two laps in the clockwise direction followed by two anti-clockwise laps. This basically shows the balance and the dynamic handling capabilities of the vehicle. The sprint event is very exciting, where you only have two laps to prove just how good your vehicle is. The driver has to deliver the maximum performance under pressure and in a very short space of time. It's a very, very challenging event and it's something that everyone enjoys. But just one mistake can make you finish right down at the bottom of the standings. The difference between first and eighth last year was separated by fractions of a second. Most of the points in the dynamic events are based upon the endurance event, which is held on the Sunday, typically the last day of the competition. The cars go out onto the circuit and they have to complete a 22 kilometer run and a lot of stress and strain are put on the cars and the drivers.
UH Racing was one of the first UK universities to compete in the IMAC E Formula Student Competition. We have a very proud and successful history where we've won numerous awards for fantastic new innovative designs. We have developed the first hydrogen powered car and the first electric vehicle and this was a very big achievement in Formula Student. These have all been tried and tested by our students and been taken through to the automotive engineering industries where you see a lot of examples existing on today's automotive road cars and race cars. The aim of our car this year uh, is a quite an aggressive design. We really want to push the boundaries uh, of our students' capabilities and by including a massive team effort we can put together something that's very exciting, very new and something to scare all of our competition. We've had such a big team effort this year, it's really great to see all of our hard work pay off. We're hoping at the competitions this year that we can do a fantastic job and make University of Hertfordshire not only the best team in the UK but also the best team in the world. We have some really strong competition this year, ranging from teams in America, Australia and throughout Europe, some of them operating on budgets four times the size of ours. But this doesn't deter us. We're a very small team, but we have fantastic knowledge and we're trying to put this to best use. It's a lot of dedication, motivation and teamwork to succeed. And by doing this, we hope to again represent the best the UK has to offer. Formula Student is a team game. We have so many members this year that time management has been a critical factor. We work together successfully to design, develop, test and build a race car within nine months. This is the equivalent of a Formula One team in industry who do it as a full-time career. Whilst also having to balance our final year projects, our exams and our modules, we also develop this vehicle. It's a very tough and demanding competition.
Formula Student is all about determination, passion and the willingness to succeed. Motorsport isn't a 9 to 5 job and a lot of students have found that out the hard way this year. We work around the clock tirelessly to produce the best the UK has to offer. The vehicle is built on a very small budget. We're really grateful for all the sponsorship and partners who come on board with UH Racing each and every year because they help us to develop our knowledge and our car to achieve the maximum performance available. Okay, it's now time to take our race car out and see how we stack up against the rest of the competition.